All right. It's good to, to see you again because uh, these are typical questions for your IGCSE or GCSE exam paper, yeah? where we have to interpret a, a grouped frequency table. Yeah? What does that mean? Well, these are groups. Yeah? So the score, we're talking about 80 students took a maths test. Yeah? And the score for the test between 0 and 20, 4 students have a score like that. Between 20 and 40, 12 students have a score like that, between 40 and 60, uh, 30 um, students, and between 60 and 80, 34 students. Yeah? And this test is out of 80 points, yeah? so the maximum score is 80. Yeah? Then the types of questions you can get, and I'll get this table back in a minute, is do you think it was an easy or difficult test? Yeah? So you have to yeah, interpret that uh, diagram. What is the modal class? and calculate an estimate of the mean. And especially that question is very important, of course. The rest as well, but especially this one. Okay, do you think it was an easy or difficult test? Now let's have a quick look again. Um, was it easy or difficult? Now I would say it was relatively easy. And why? Well, because most students scored a pass grade, yeah? scored more than 40 uh, points and even uh, yeah, most of the students had even between 60 and 80 points, okay? And only very few students had between 0 and 20. So you could say, well, this was probably a relatively easy test, yeah? What is the modal class? And do not panic now. With modal class, they kind of mean the mode. But when we're talking about classes, they say the modal class. So which class is most popular? In which class, in which group are the most pieces of information? And indeed, that is this group. So the modal class is between 60 and 80. Do not write down 34. No, the modal class is going to be bigger or equal than 60 and smaller than 80. Okay, that's the modal class. But now, that last question. Calculate an estimate of the mean. And that is a little bit of a paradox, isn't it? To calculate an estimate, yeah? Because usually you either estimate or you calculate. But now we have to calculate an estimate, yeah? Now, why is that? Why do we calculate an estimate of the mean? Well, in the, in the, in the past, they would give you pieces of information, yeah? So, let me just quickly grab here. Uh, a previous question. So what is the mean? I would add up all those pieces of information and then I would divide it by, in this case, 5. Okay? But now I don't know the exact amount of the scores. No. I only know that they lie, 4 of them, between 0 and 20. And I know that 12 of them are between 20 and 40. Okay? And 30 between 40 and 60 and 34 between 60 and 80. So what do I have to do? To calculate an estimate of the mean, I have to take what we call the midpoint of each uh, midpoint, yeah, then I should spell it properly, the midpoint of each group. What lies in the middle? Between 0 and 20, that is 10. Between 20 and 40, that would be 30. Between 40 and 60, that would be 50. Between 60 and 80, that will be 70. Yeah? So I take the midpoint, and then I do the same as I always did, yeah, with a frequency table. So the mean is, well, I have four pieces of information uh, with a value of 10, yeah? So four times 10 plus I have 12 times 30 plus I have 30 pieces of information with a value of 50, well, about 50, yeah, because we don't know the exact value, but this is therefore an estimate, and 34 of 70, okay? And all of that, well, they say 80 people take the math test, let's check if that's true, uh, 34, uh, 64, 66, 76, 80, indeed, so all of that divided by 80. So, 40, or you know what, again, I am a, I had, a, I had a very long day, so I'm going to put it in my calculator, if it works. 4 times 10 plus 12 times 30 uh, plus 30 times 15 plus 34 times 70. Okay, so a little bit lazy, I do apologize. 4,280. 
So 4,280 divided by 80. Yeah, but we show this step as well. Give us points, uh, most likely divided by 80 equals 53.5. Now always evaluate your answers, of course. Does it make sense? Yeah, now most people have yeah, a rather high score, yeah. Yeah, in this region, of course, you have some low ones. They kind of drag that mean uh, downwards, yeah. But I would expect a, a high mean, yeah. 53.5, I trust that. It's, it's got to be less than 80, yeah. So if your answer is bigger than 80, you've made a mistake. Doesn't make sense, yeah. What is the average score? What is the mean score? It's got to be less than 80. It's got to be more than zero, though, yeah. So a negative answer doesn't make sense either. Because it's a grouped frequency table, we calculate an estimate of the mean. And why is that? Because we don't know the exact values. No, we take the midpoint, times it by the frequency like we did before, and then divide it by the sum of, sorry, I should say, divide it by the total amount of values, 80 in this case. 53.5 is my estimate of the mean. I have another one of these in the next video. See you there.